Your Excellency, sir, good morning. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic, good morning. Your Excellency, sir, Nibatai, I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. Cheriot, kutoka Mumberes, Majmasiri Ward. Thank you. Your Excellency, kikuda non CPA Richard Koech, a clerk na Assembly na Baringo. MCA Kabartonja Ward. MCA James Ward. Titalam, awa kuwa ina bagap lelai. Tuka ina mna hiyo. So asante sana, ni mesikia mambo ya kabon. Kusema tupange kabarnet apo tapanga buya kidogo shetani alizu tembele so kwenye mji kigilia tu kuhuko una tano MCAs members of parliament senators make a contribution through legislation representation and oversight in the management of the affairs of our nation. The Constitution, Section Article 200 of the Constitution, provides for Parliament to make legislation for qualifications of both voters and candidates for all elective positions in Kenya. But Article 38 of the same Constitution says and prohibits any unreasonable restrictions being placed in the way of voters or candidates to be able to vie or vote in any election or referendum. <laughs> Parliament, in exercise of its uh, legislative responsibility, enacted legislation provide for qualifications. But when Parliament provided for those uh, qualifications, they provided for qualifications, the same qualification for people who want to be president, people who want to be senators, people who want to be members of parliament, people who want to be members of county, as county assemblies. If the intention of the constitution was to provide a uniform uh, qualification for all those positions, then it would have provided it in the constitution. But the constitution realized that there are different uh, responsibilities. There is a variety of situations in Kenya. And the constitution expected parliament to exercise that legislative authority in a manner that takes into account all the considerations of all the positions so that we can have legislation that the constitution says does not provide unnecessary or unreasonable restrictions on the way of voters or candidates to be elected into elective office. To say that MCAs should have the same qualification as members of parliament and the same qualification as members of the executive in, the, in, 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 in counties, governors, and the same qualification for president is not to be reasonable. And therefore, already we have, already parliament is reconsidering as we talk. Parliament is reconsidering Section, uh, the, the sections in the Election Act. I think it is Section 22. Yes. Section 22 of the Elections Act, so that we can remove what the law provides today that, in my opinion, is unreasonable restriction on the way of people, candidates who want to be elected in various offices so that we can have a, a, a reasonable expectation of qualifications 
of candidates. And therefore, I want to give you my word that we are going to support the review of those recommendations that were made in the law so that we can allow the majority of Kenyans to be able to vie in this position. It is not reasonable that only 1% of Kenyans qualify to vie for elective positions. And we disenfranchise 99% of the population. Otherwise, mimi nashukuru sana with all the other leaders. Yeah, we must work together so that we, we form one team. Uh, nashukuru pia uh, waziri wetu chelugui. Nataka niseme kwa niaba yangu na marafiki wengi wa watu wa Baringo. Asanteni sana kwa urafiki wenu.